Hello, a uh, quick update on what we added to the software. Uh, so today this is a custom uh, tower height uh, and it's optional. So if you set it to zero and place a helper family, and then if you set it to a certain number, let's say 10,000, uh, you can see the difference now uh, after you generate the, the towers. We can go to a south, for example, elevation and check the difference. So the one on the left, if you measure it, should be 10,000 and the one, uh, sorry, the one on the right and the one on the left is whatever the top uh, slab is um, determining. Um, in both cases, we have selected top and bottom, but the placing tool detects if there is a value for a custom height and ignores the top slab. Um, the nice thing about this thing is that you can uh, easily change this just copy the tower and you can make this one 20 meters directly from the parameter so hopefully, hopefully I didn't make it 200 okay and then you can run and quickly change the height to a new uh, to, to a different one so you can make a different towers uh, very quickly by simply copying the helper family and changing the height if you know what you want to do another feature is that you can place it on top of the of, a, of an inclined slab and the result would be that each leg is going to be the same uh, height <coughs> which means that um, the head would be parallel to the bottom surface uh, which in most cases is not going to be necessary. Most likely you're going to have to have like a, a flat surface uh, fl on top which you're supporting. Uh, but this can easily be corrected by uh, adjusting the extensions of the of the heads manually from the their parameters. So you can achieve it like this. And there you go, you have a horizontal surface on inclined bottom slab. And one other thing is, if you place this on, let's say we have one here and one here, oops, um, copy. And let's say this one is 10,000 and this one is zero you notice that the one that is 10,000 is not going to be generated. <coughs> um, yeah, so this one is the one that is zero, which was generated, but this one wasn't. And the reason is because the, the, the real structure is you, we have very uh, steeply inclined bottom and uh, less steeply inclined top which means that the, the one that is taking in consideration both has less uh, less longer le <laughs> smaller extensions of the head and that's why it was able to be generated but the one that is um, on a on a custom height assumes that the top surface is the same as the bottom one which goes over the limit of the extensions of the heads and that's why it generated error uh, to large heads extensions so keep that in mind uh, theoretically you can have a tower here with the horizontal uh, uh, heads but if you use a custom height, height on, on very steeply inclined bottom you might not get results so in this case you're going to have to like put a second slab that is horizontal at the location where you want it and it's going to be generated uh, yeah, that's it. I hope it wasn't too complicated and hopefully this will be a useful feature. Thanks. Bye.